Okay, good evening, everyone. Well, good evening. Um, it's evening time in um, London, UK. Those of you uh, just from Nigeria or in Nigeria, watching and listening from Nigeria, is good evening, I suppose, yes it is. Um, uh, those in the US, uh, I think we're about uh, five, six hours. Um, yeah, they, they, they were five, six hours different from the people in the US. Um, so whatever it is, it's afternoon over there, or uh, morning, morning somewhere else, I greet you. Uh, happy Sunday. Um, right. Again, we're still at the experimental phase uh, with the live recording, but I just would like to just mention a few things here. As I said last week, uh, the uh, inaugural session, I would say, <clears throat> This platform will serve uh, to express some issues that bother on um, kingdom matters, our kingdom uh, perspectives kingdom uh, discussions and, and kingdom topics. Again, when I say kingdom, I mean the kingdom of God, the kingdom of heaven, the kingdom of light. Yeah? Um, I believe that the kingdom of God, uh, God's reign, needs a platform for expression. Or I say it needs a base. Uh, and that base could be any nation, it could be a city, a society, a community, a family, even an individual life. In other words, um, if we avail ourselves as uh, a people, as individuals, as a family, as a nation, example, Nigeria, UK, or whatever nation you represent, that could serve as a base for the kingdom of God, or for God himself to express his virtues, his purposes, the character of his reign and rule in that arena, in that realm. Okay. So my wish for my country, Nigeria, for example, is for God's will to be done in the country, among my countrymen, uh, fellow countrymen and women, as it is in heaven. All right? In heaven, there is no disunity. There is no uh, hostility. There is no suffering. There is no pain. There is no sickness, there's no darkness. These are the things I wish for my country. But it does not just come by a mere wishing. We have to work for it. We have to think it, we have to think about it, ponder it, contemplate it, uh, imagine it, imaginize it, and then express it, articulate it, walk the walk, and not just the talk. Oh, my brother Reggie Williams, hello, how are you? Okay, uh, your advice is needed, you know, you are the expert, I'm not, God bless you. Okay, right, <clears throat> so I, I, I pray that this, uh, I wish that this platform okay, would be opportunities for us to kind of articulate those things. Now, obviously, there will be some, um, uh, there will be times where we'll talk about uh, uh, theological matters, you know, biblical issues, strictly speaking. But then, um, 
Other times we'll talk about other things that border on politics, on uh, sociology, and on uh, personal development, social adjustment, and uh, economy. But all this topic, uh, we'll, we'll be looking at them from the point of view of God's kingdom, okay? Um, But today, there are just one or two points um, I want us to kind of deliberate on. Now, if, whoever, if, if you want to respond, you just feel free to uh, type your comment and hopefully I catch it and read it out and that will help to uh, move the discussion along. In Nigeria, there is this song we sing. Uh, well, it's in our anthem, one of the uh, I think second verse. No, 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 it's the first verse of our national, the current national anthem. It says, um, part of it is uh, that the, the labor of our heroes past shall never be in vain. The labor of our heroes past shall never be in vain. And I, Whenever I get to that point, whenever I have opportunity or I'm in a place where I have to sing the national anthem or hear the national anthem sung, I question myself. I, I, I ask, okay, who are these heroes? Who are these heroes whose labor we pray should not be in vain? Uh, some people, if, if you ask them, they talk about the founding fathers, the uh, uh, pre-independent uh, political actors like uh, Nanda Ziki Wage, uh, Chief of Bavaria, um, like uh, um, Amadou Bello, Tafawa Belewa, uh, people like Mike Enahuru and so on and so forth. Uh, if I forget your own personal hero, please don't don't uh, be angry. It, it's not the um, deliberate. But I would say I I don't really know those people. Okay, now what I mean, I've 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 um, I've, had, I've seen, seen um, some of them. I've heard some of them, but I was not. Um, Politically conscious, at least I was. I was too young to know about what, uh, know what they did when they did it. Okay, so um, yes, I, I read about their uh, respective contributions towards and uh, our independence, independence and, and beyond. Uh, and they, yes, there we can't forget them. But I, I, I think about people. Are there not people today? Um, more or in, in more uh, more he, more he, uh, recent history where uh let me take that again are there not people that we can identify in our more recent history who can fit that uh mold that uh, 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 uh status or profile as um nigerian heroes and uh, I think there should be, and that there are. For me, where that line, that line, the labor of a hero's past should never be in vain. When I sing it, there are few people I think about, apart from those people I mentioned before. I think of people like um, um, yeah, some people who have done Nigeria proud in different um, arenas. Some of them are gone, yes, they're sort of the heroes past, but I also remember some heroes today who have done something, okay, uh, I, I do understand that as long as a man or a woman is alive, um, they, uh, they, they might start well, but they may not end well, unfortunately, uh, but, um, uh, but when they are dead, yes, uh, they die to the possibility of ever Corrupting their reputation. I understand that, but that does not mean that we should not salute the 
uh, heroic contributions of some people who are even alive today. Okay, what's going on? I think of someone like um, uh, Stella Adadavo, um, the lady whose um, courage and, and, and boldness, whose um, fearlessness um, prevented Nigeria from a, 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 the, the devastation the fascinating scourge of uh, of um, Ebola, you know. Yes, we we got Ebola through the the the, uh, the Liberian guy that uh, came into the country, but Stella Adedevo was somebody who Nigeria should not be quick to forget. So when I sing that song, when I sing that that line, the hero, the labor of a hero's past shall never be vain. Uh, Pastor, <laughs> Pastor Victor. Uh, like me. Again, I salute. I'm only following your footsteps. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> okay. Um, God bless you. Yes, so I think of someone like her, what she did for Nigeria. If not for her intervention, her sacrificial in, in, intervention, self-sacrificial intervention, um, Nigeria, uh, Ebola would have done the, 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 uh, the number of casualties would have been more serious than we did about six people that died of Ebola. Okay, so I think of people like that. I think of people like uh, the late um, Akwili, former DG of uh, NAVDAG. NAVDAG. Um, I, I think of her passion, her commitment, the way she uh, again stood up to confront the cabal when uh, the, the late uh, uh, president uh, Yaradua was ill and, and um, the, the country was without a president for some months. Of course, the cabal used the opportunity to make the, 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 the nation to cannibalize the nation, really. But uh, the late uh, Professor Dora Akwili stood that ground and voiced out and, and provided that necessary uh, in, well, information that we needed, really, that the president was sick and therefore needed to uh, Needed for the then vice president, uh, Dr. Goodluck Jonathan, to be sworn in as uh, acting, pre acting president. Um, again, they shouted out how many institutions to that ground. Um, again, we will not forget uh, what the work, marvelous work she did um, in, in NAVDAC. Again, uh, she nearly got shot. In fact, she was shot, but uh, she was spared. Um, when the, um, she had brushes with the, the um, counter, drug counterfeiters, I mean, those who import uh, fake drugs and, 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 and food. So, yes, I remember people like that. I remember people like Awojobi, uh, Professor Awojobi, of recent memory. People like Taisho Larry, people like Chinua Chebe, you know, guys like, um, who again? Please, if you remember any of the heroes, uh, Dead or alive, actually, you no. Know, uh, mention them. Uh, God bless you. God bless you, more grace, uh, Pastor Victor. God bless you. Okay. What about today? Um, some of my my um, calling heroes are that I just they, these are, these people they don't have two heads. They they just did what they did with what they've got, and uh, and that sort of contributed to what the uh, contributed to the, the 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 progress of the nation one way or the other now i'll mention some names you might say <laughs> why would i include them one of my heroes in nigeria is this lady a uh, musician uh, ty below ty below uh we've never met um 
But there are two songs she sang, and one is the land is green. I think the land is green. It's like a prophetic word about Nigeria. Um, another one is um, the land of my dream, something like that. You know, the land of my dream. These are uh, these are the songs we call it. They are they are classified as patriotic songs. Uh, people like that, yes, it's like they put their talent, they put their their, their mouth where their heart is. They want to see a better Nigeria, and uh, someone like that. God bless Tiwa uh, Bello. Uh, people like uh, um, a guy that sang and that song that Dakulu uh, is that the name? Dakulu. Team, uh, team that could, uh, yeah, people like that, you know, for their contributions. It, now, why am I mentioning some of these names that are very contemporary, very, um, uh, they're there with us, or they're maybe uh, recently gone? It, 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 the reason why I did that, ah, Pastor Bumi, Omidoro, God bless you. Pastor Joyce Fadi, God bless you. Well done. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, people like that. And, what, the reason why I'm saying this is that each one of us had the opportunity with the little or the much we've got to do something, say something, write something, sing something, build something that um, is, can inspire the next person, the next generation, the current generation. We can make a statement. But you see, in, in the country, unfortunately, in Nigeria, we seem to give microphones to people who are, who, whose comments are destructive, who tear down, who use their mouth or their pen uh, to tear down the nation, to create disunity. There are people who, Brad Godwin, long time, God bless, Thank you. Welcome. Please feel free to share. Um, okay. Yes, there are people, and I, and I don't want to mention them. This is not a platform for uh, for naming and shaming or in, insulting anybody. Uh, but there are people that I, I believe should not be given microphone, whose voices should be um, uh, uh, blacked out, basically, if, if that's the right word. Um, whose opinions should not be printed because it, 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 their opinions are toxic. They don't help the nation. Yeah, they, they are they are ethnocentric and they get into ethnic bashing. You know, uh, uh, talking about you no, know, just talking about war and um, yeah, pulling down the nation basically. Yeah, now those people as well. Well, I, if I had the power and I don't. I would not give them or their views any ventilation at all whatsoever. But those people who speak words of healing, words of unity, words of courage, words of power, words of uh, faith and uh, hope and positivity, those people, whether they are musicians or actors or, or writers, yes, those are the ones I will echo and we echo their views because that's what we need okay we need um, some positive narratives so that's why i'm mentioning some of these names um people like the late sonio kosu again who with it, with his voice and his music i he, he fought apartheid he was you know he, he added to the to the uh, fight against apartheid in South Africa. Uh, yes, uh, it's a hero whose labor we should not forget. Um, and some other people, um, I'm thinking of some now. Um, there was this, uh, there is this woman, um, I don't know her name, but years ago she was shown in some kind of uh, or was it documentary or news uh, on it? It years ago. I, I don't know if she's alive now. But it's in in River State, I think Port Harcourt, 
uh, she used to gather some street children. She would gather them and they would sweep the street, you know, clean the street, rather than allow them to be roaming about and causing um, headache for the community. She would gather them together and they would sweep the street and, and do all that and clear the rubbish and she would cook for them and feed them and they would pray together and go. Okay. Um, unfortunately, I don't know her name. Yeah. And, and these are not the people that the government tends to remember. Um, but um, she's an unsung hero. People like that. There was this, um, again, T.Y. Bello featured this lady years ago, um, an elderly lady, a Kundayo. She died some years ago. And it was, it was great that this uh, T.Y. Bello. Uh, featured when found her out uh, from the documentary of this woman, this elderly woman. She spent about 40 years nurturing orphans, you know, children without fathers, without mothers. Um, she would get them together and, and, and house them and feed them and, and not of them to adulthood for 40 years. Never got a national award. Never got recognition. Nobody knew her except, I mean, if not for T.Y. Bello. And uh, she, she's passed on now. The heroes or the, the, the labels of a hero's past shall not be in vain or should never be in vain. So uh, basically, we should identify who those heroes are. It's not everyone that's popular that is a hero. It's not everybody that had money, money back that's a hero. I know that one that should be celebrated. Pastor Austin, I can't believe this. God bless you from Nigeria. How are you? All right. God bless. God bless. Okay. Now that's 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 that's, that's the uh, the first thing that comes to my, my mind. Now, if you if you have any any um, suggestion. That people that we should big up, we should trumpet their their work, and there are many. There are there are thousands. There are many many people in Nigeria, from the north, from the south, from the east, from the west, all over the zones. There are they, 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 they are heroes. There are people who 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 are part of the force for good in Nigeria. Now that is why, therefore, I do not believe, and I. On this, some of the um, uh, again, this uh, Igbo against Yoruba, uh, outside against Igbo um, uh, against Yoruba, and all, and all that, you know, or to, to kind of uh, um, categorizing a particular ethnic group as a, 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 a problem group. Uh, no, it does not. It does not exist. It does not exist. I believe that um, we have only two tribes in Nigeria, as as we do um, in the whole world. Only two tribes, okay. The good and the bad, okay. Um, the solution bringers and the problem, the people who come, and you find them among each group. You find them among the Muslims, you find them among the Christians, you find them among the the uh, other religions, you find them among the Igbos, you find them among the Yorubas, you find them among the Hausas, you find them among every uh, ethnic group in that country. Now, if you understand that, that there are only two, the fact that some, somebody is from my village, somebody, the fact that somebody is from my village, do, uh, does that make that person a saint? Because there are people from my village that I cannot trust. I'm sorry to say. Okay. Um, so I, I believe that that such false dichotomy, uh, for false classification, is is lazy, is infantile, is 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 childish, is. Um, it, it does not, it does not, uh, it's baseless, really. Now, what do I mean by that? The, the, the point I'm making is that, yeah, in every 
group. There are people who are part of the force for good, and there are people who are part of the force for evil. Now, if I understand them, that, therefore, if that is the truth, then my attitude towards other people will change. Now, rather for me, I'm an Igbo, a proud Igbo man, you know, I'm from a very Igbo state. But my attitude, attitude should be then to, if I want, if I mean wait for Nigeria, to look for those people who, who are of the same heart and mind, to reach out to, uh, 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 to them and join forces, join my energy with their energy, join my thoughts with their thoughts, join my plans with their plans. Let there be some kind of coalescence, let there be some kind of coagulation, co you know, uh, and so that um, we've formed a critical mass for the progress of the nation, a force for good. It, it, it means hard work. It means that I have to transcend my uh, linguistic or language enclave, my Igbo enclave, my cultural enclave. I have to transcend it. I have to look for the Yorubas who are of the same mentality. Look for the Hausas, the Fulanese, the Edos, Robos, Calabaris. Again, how many can I mention? Uh, the Egoons, um, I'm trying to think of more. Yeah, the Ichakuris, Isokos, Ijos, and so on. Let me, let me, how many can I mention? I have to look for those people. Lord, just just kind of sense their spirit and connect with them and move the nation to help to help to move this nation forward. It means then that those people who mean harm for the country, those selfish people, the enemies of the country. Again, in my mind, I put them all together where they are armed robbers, organ harvesters, human um, stealers, kidnappers, um, sex traffic, um, uh, sex, uh, sex traffic, uh, traffickers, is that what they call them? Yeah? Um, who are other people? The corrupt politicians and those who are corrupt in, the, in, in, in other respects. I bundle them together, they belong together. Okay? And if I know such people, I avoid them. And if I can, I undermine their, their effort, I undermine the effects of their nefarious practice or enterprise okay so it's simple yeah okay for a patriotic nigerian a patriotic nigerian who mean well who align with again this kingdom of righteousness we're talking about the, the kingdom of god the godly people now godly people are not just people who carry big bibles godly people godly people it, it shows in every in, in, in everything they do Godly people are supposed to be a blessing to the nation. I don't understand uh, uh, someone who's active, we call it an active Christian, and then participating in corruption. That's not part of the, that, that's not the values of the kingdom. So if I know these people, irrespective of, their, of, their lang of the language they speak, of their cultural background, we can coalesce together and be a voice and a force to actualize the mind of God for Nigeria. 
Now, if you're not in Nigeria, if you're from the Ghana, South Africa, Zimbabwe, where thank God for the, the some size of progress in Zimbabwe, and from UK or America, wherever, the same principle applies. There are people to avoid and there are people to unite with. So that's why I don't, I don't play tribal game. I, I, I don't. I don't. I don't. I, I love. I love my culture. I love my country. I love my language. Okay, but and, and that's legitimate. That's great. That's great. Yeah, I love my state. I love the. the I, love, I love. I love being Igbo. I love it. But if my love of Igbo culture, Igbo language, Igbo food. exceeds that legitimate point to hating other people from other cultures and ethnic groups or th i think that my my culture is superior to theirs then that is devilish that is not right that is not right okay that is ignorance and i see a lot of it a lot of ignorance we are If you look, listen. If you love your culture, there is no law against it. In fact, there's no overdose. You cannot love your culture too much. In my mind. But you cannot. How do I put it? Yeah. If the love of your culture means the suppression. Or the demonization, or the, or the yeah, bastardization of other cultures, other people. Then something is wrong. Something is wrong. That's one. Secondly, baby, you know, I, I want to point this out quickly. I, I hear people. In fact, one time I was on a, on a TV station, um, big television, um, yes, some time ago. And I said something, but we are like a panel, you know, a number of us were there. And I didn't even say, it's not me that said what this gentleman was reacting to. But because he, I was the only one he could identify because I had my hat on, he started insulting me. He started insulting me. And um, he did not counter my argument or what he thought I said. But he just insulted me and threatened me that if he saw me, he would attack me. Somebody that would have never met him just saw me on TV. Gloria, God bless you. Welcome home. All right. Now, I, I, I thought about that. And I also on Facebook, again, you see people who attack us, you know. Um, and the reason why this guy attacked me was that he felt that I was what I said, which I, again I did not say, uh, was not patriotic. Okay. Now that's what I call false patriotism. So we have people who say they love Nigeria, they love Nigeria, but they hate Nigerians, they disrespect Nigerians. I say, how does that work? How can I love Nigeria and disrespect a rubbish fellow Nigerian? For whatever reason, I don't understand how it works. So, is it the trees in Nigeria I love? Is it the mountain and the hills and the sand? If I can disrespect a Nigerian, uh, that doesn't make sense to me. So, let us examine what we call patriotism. Because it's the people that make the country, that make the nation. Okay. You cannot say you love the country, whatever country is this, and you hate the people from that country, or you hate one person from that country. Now, you might dislike what somebody did. You might not like what somebody did. That's a different issue. Okay? Uh, if, I, if I have a quarrel with you, well, over an issue, Yes, 
we can discuss that issue to try to resolve whatever it is. But that should not be or, or degenerate to me hitting you, uh, depersonalizing or dehumanizing you. Um, no, that devilish. That's not patriotism. That is force. Okay. Now Nigerians have to watch out for that. Particularly those people who are the the, the internet warriors. You know, are attacking this person, attacking this. You know, as and I ask myself if people who are technologically exposed, educated Nigerians, um, perhaps uh, the younger generation. You know, that, that my own generation, if uh, are well exposed, articulate. If that's what they're using the education to do to insult each other, to, you know, diminish each other. Then, I don't know what that means. Okay. Uh, last point I want to uh, raise. Oh, that five minutes already. Okay, let me just quickly raise it then. Um... Well, why don't we have light in our country? Why don't we have now light symbolizes the number of perhaps I shouldn't I, I shouldn't pursue this, I should leave this for maybe next week or so. Um I, I want us to think about that because light means a lot, you know, when you say light, uh electricity, energy, and other things that uh it um, represents and um, it can actually catalyze. That said, I want to say thank you for joining me. It's uh, that, that's six minutes now. So, uh, oh, oh, is it? okay. Shola Shunuga, God bless you. God bless you. Oh, is it Pastor Shola? I see. God bless you. Okay. Uh, thank you. I'm wrapping up now. Um, so those of you who are, jo jo uh, who are jo joining, uh, you can just um, um, listen to um, the little thing that uh, little po uh, the points I've shared. And uh, uh, if you have anything to, uh, to contribute to this couple of issues I raised, feel free to um, uh, message me and, and, and we can pick it up you know because uh, I don't like talking to myself you know but, but I find it difficult I don't like leaving answer leaving leaving uh, a message on the answer machine I find it very difficult it was like I struggle to do it um, so um, I'm not used to this so but it has to be done so if you if you uh, send something uh, or it, we can disagree on any of these points and then uh, we pick it from there and let it be a vegetable fry, uh, um, um, platform for um, meaningful dialogue and, uh, and all that it is in rubbing minds together that um, wisdom is you know is distilled and and and, and uh, we can come to some useful and helpful nuggets that can help us advance. Um, but yes, this is me, Reverend Cyril Lukiri, and uh, God bless you. Again, feel free to, to share it, and uh, your advice is also needed. You are particularly those of you who have been doing this uh, before me. Um, feel free to just um, email me your advice feel free to give suggestions um, and your, and your uh, positive criticism or whatever it is, um, please send it in. Okay. God bless you. Have a great, great, great week. God bless you. Thank you for um, honoring me. Let me put that way. You know, visiting. And may God honor you. God bless you. Bye.